Hey, hi, hello. This is Sarvana from A4 Analytics and A4 Analytics University. And in this video, we're going to talk about what is Vertipack Analyzer in Power BI. Stay tuned. So what you're looking at in the screen is a very simple dashboard. So we used a Contraso database from SQL Server so that you can see over here. And uh, so we have a, a template tables in this data model. So we can see, so everything is related, everything is uh, fitted for the right thing. So now, so I have these many tables in the model, right? So, so when I look at the file size of this report, so when I go back and able to see it, so it's around 222 MB. The, the file size of this report is 222 MB. So if you want to understand, so what is the cost of uh, each table available in this data model? So what is the cost of each column available in the data model? So when I mean the cost, it is about the size. So, so how we can identify that? how we can identify the size of a table, the size of a column, and how about identify this, uh, the size of a relationship between the two columns. So if you want to understand the data model to identify those things, so we need to have a tool called DAX Studio. So DAX Studio is an external tool that's available for Power BI. You need to install it from the SQL BI team. So you can Google it and check it out and also put that link in the description box. You can able to download from there itself. And if you go to the external tools and uh, which is already opened and in my system so it picks up the data model and showing that the different tables are available in the data model so what we can do is we can thing so which you know already but to understand the size the cost of a table or a column so we need to have a verti pack online See the green things, the metrics which are input. To the file options, advanced, and make sure this preview feature is available. If if it is not available, I think you might be using a older version, so you need to update the newer version so that you can able to see it. And these are the preview features right now available in 25th September 2020. So, so I need to click the view metrics. So what it do was it shows the list of informations for each table, for each column, relationships, and summarize it. So we can easily identify which table consuming a large amount of uh, data in bytes and what is it percentage and how about the referential integrity of uh, referential integrity of a table so we can able to easily understand it from vertipack analyzer matrices so so when i go to the tables you can see the table names available from the data model so if you can able to compare it over here so these are the same things as available over here so the fact sales which has a cardinality of this number so what is the cardinality so cardinality is the unique values available in the column for the entire table so if i expanded it so you see uh, the list of columns available for the table and the cardinality of it so for instance so let me take a simple one um okay let's go to another table so this will be uh, very much simple, all right. So if I go to the dimension store table, <clears throat> so when I see the store name, so you can see the store 
name column has a 306 unique values in it so so which means uh, the cardinality of this dim store is 306 and and when we go to the next one the table size so which is a uh, oh, so very uh, similar to what we have in the column size right so it shows the uh, the total size of a table in bytes so the the, the things what I will see in numbers over here everything is a byte so when it goes to a column size actually this column size is a sum of these three columns that is the data dictionary and uh, higher size that's the hierarchy size so we have uh, three columns over here so I will explain each and every one the data uh, the data dictionary give me a sec sorry data dictionary and uh, hierarchy size so data is an uh, uh, the underlying data of your report so which is uh, each and every row available in your data model which is straight as the data and uh, a dictionary is uh, is like uh, so whenever you have a uh, few tables let's say is linked a uh, dictionary creates a unique uh, value of a table and creates a separate dictionary so so it will remove the string from the uh, from the uh, table relationship and replace with the numbers from the dictionary table it's like a hash value things so so it is a size of uh, dictionary and hierarchy sizes like so when you create a hierarchy in Power BI report let's say uh, you have a category so you need to uh, add a hierarchy in another field called subcategory or a product so if you create that in your Power BI report so that will add it into a hierarchy size So when you pull up the calculator and you can able to see so if I added up uh, this these values 55468 56 plus 54860 oops sorry I made it wrong <laughs> 5654860 plus 552 so adding these three things and if I do it, so I will get 55468, which is a 55468, which is a column size. So, so when you expand it, fact saves. Cut <coughs> So when you expand it. Moving forward to the encoding, which is which is the hash value thing, which I already explained. So RI violation is uh, the refresh integrity violation, which is so if you uh, rated uh, two tables, if a value from a right table is not available, is not linked with any values from the left table, that will add it as an integrity one. So which means that uh, if you remove the referential integrity of the value one. Uh, the query the DAX query speed will be much higher uh, when compared to uh, we have any integrity in the column so and this is our evaluation violation and so I just move to the important things which is uh, uh, the percentage of a table so it still the size of a percentage size of a table and percentage so it's not available because so we need to expand it so I'm expanding dim customer you see the, the size of so so I just yeah the size of each column of this table has been provided and following with the DB percentage so if you want to understand so what is the size percentage of uh, fact sales across all the tables available in the data model if we, if we can easily identify that using this percentage database size 
and so it is a wonderful tool we can uh, use it to compress the power bi file which i already did a video on that we can uh, able to look at in our uh, playlist and also put that link in the description box and so these are these are the wonderful things available and and if you have any questions please post it in the comments and i am i'm much more happy to answer your questions thanks you thank you for watching have a good day see you bye